Brybrook from Ledgeview Partners. And this video is all about how you would handle support and enhancements for the CRM product that you purchased or that you're using um, that was developed by Ledgeview Partners. So I would think interested parties in this video would be those who are new users to CRM or um, those who just need a refresher on, hey, how do I, you know, how do I handle support and enhancements with this CRM product? So with that, let's jump right into it. Um, I, I really don't have anything to show in the system. Uh, some of the slides are a little bit wordy, but it's because, you know, I want you to be able to pause and read it and kind of digest it. So there's only three slides. Let's get through it here. So really, what CRM are you using? Well, the CRM you're using um, was developed by Ledgeview Partners. And we started with Microsoft Dynamics CRM and we customized it to work for specifically for the oil and gas industry. So your company pays per user per month to just use the software. And as you know, you know, your your back office is integrated with the, the CRM and you know it looks and feels kind of like your CRM, but it's really just software you're using um, and you pay for it per user per month. The role that we play at Ledgeview is the role of your administrator, your developer, and your support help. So with that in mind, let's uh, go to the next slide. So what happens if you need support? So it's probably best to start within your organization. There's probably somebody there who really, really knows the system well, maybe was involved with the project from the beginning. You might consider this person your power user or your trainer. So it's always best to just bounce off whatever problems you're having with them because they, you know, they're probably readily available and they may have a, you know, a quick solution for you and then you're ready to go. I think that's probably, you know, you're going to be much more efficient if you have somebody internal he, that you can start out with. So as, after you've kind of exhausted that avenue, you know, your next step, I believe, would be to call Ledgeview Partners Support. So there's a phone number and an email address here. You can reach out to our support team. You know, let them know what problem you're having or what question you have, and we'll do the best to solve it. Um, we may do a screen sharing, screen sharing session with you to actually watch the problem occur. Um, if you're going to send an email, it's, it's always best to, you know, include a screenshot and an explanation of, you know, how you got there, you know, what you were working on so, you know, we can solve the problem a little bit qu quicker. So then I just listed a few reasons why you might call support. So obvious one, you know, you just can't resolve an issue. Um, second one I listed here is you need to add a value to your drop-down list. So you have a new industry or you have a new payment term or you have a new product segment, those types of things. Again, that power user and or trainer, you know, might know, you know, you know everything that's involved with setting them up, but Again, us as your administrator, we'll be able to go into the kind of into the guts of CRM and make that change for you. Um, also, if you added a user or need to change a user, something about that user or their security level, or you know somebody retires and you want to deactivate that user, that's another reason you call us. Again, we play in the role as your administrator. You call our support desk, and we can go in and make those changes for you. You don't have to know how to do it; you just have to let us know. And then one other reason, and there's, there's sorry, lots of other reasons why you'd call us, but just another one is if you're having problems with the Outlook client and your IT department can't seem to solve it. Um, you know, we'll, we'll help you as best we can. Um, if it looks like it's, it's something, you know, specific to your device or your infrastructure, I mean, we'll, we'll point you in that direction. But if it's a problem with the Outlook client, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll help you get that resolved. So that's the process for calling us for support. You know, you're having a problem, you have a question, you need a, a, you know, a change, a simple change to some values that are in CRM. We're here to do that for you. So the next, the next process is, is has to do with enhancements. So the tool you know, that you're using, um, you know, CRM has some features that you can use to, you know, tweak the system a little bit. So as an example. There's a tool called Advanced Find, and you can use Advanced Find to create your own views. So um, you can make your own views. If you don't like the views that are right in CRM, you can make your own. You can even share them with other people if you want. You can also make your own charts and dashboards if you want. And there are videos 
in the video section of CRM that explains more about that. So you can you can do a little bit to kind of tweak the system. But beyond that, beyond those tools that are available, you really need to, you know, let Ledgeview support, again, that email address and phone number that I listed on the prior screen, you have to let them know about any enhancements that you might want. So there are two ways that we can handle your idea. We don't like to leave anybody hanging, so we give you options. So option one, real easy, you, you have this idea, you just ask us, to, hey, just put it on the enhancement list. You know, we have a big enhancement list, a lot of people have ideas. Um, that list helps us determine what features we're going to roll out. Um, we usually roll out new features every three or four months, so it ends up being about three or four times a year. Um, however, there's no guarantee that your idea will ever show up in the system. It's really, we have this big list. We do our best to accommodate the requests that come in. Uh, there's only so much time available, and it's really based on you know, how many times we're hearing this request, how much value we feel it's going to be for the product, how difficult it is. You know, there's a lot that goes into determining what we're going to put in each release. So, um, but we appreciate all these ideas. It's great. It's helped our product become what it is. Um, the second option, because we, again, we don't want to leave you hanging, is we can give you an estimate, and if you approve that estimate, we would just schedule a technical resource, they would work on your project, and when we got it done and tested uh, and ready to go, we would just roll it out to you, and, and then you would have it. So if there was a new report you just absolutely had to have, you know, we could we could do that for you. I mean, it still has to get scheduled, right? We're not going to... We're just going to look at our resources, and if they're booked out three weeks, well, then in four weeks, we'd, we'd start working on your report. And probably a few weeks after that, you'd have it. So that's just a, an option that we always give our clients. We, we try to come up with an attractive estimate. We usually like to fix bid it just so, uh, you know, there's less time involved with a lot of project management, worrying about the hours. It's like we'll come up with a, with a number and say, here's what it'll cost if you want it, and then if you approve it, we'll just do it. Um, that feature will then roll out in uh, the, the next release that comes out for everyone to have. So your ideas will benefit others as other ideas, others' ideas have benefited you. So that's how that works, and that's why we try to come up with a, with a reasonable um, price, only because, you know, you're going to benefit, you're going to get exactly what you want, but others are going to, you know, have an option if they ever want to use that report or whatever you want to change, you know, they would have access to it. So that's it. That is all I wanted to cover today. Uh, I'm hoping this helps give you a refresher if you are uh, been involved with this in the past and just kind of forgot how the process has worked, or if you're new to CRM, you know now know how to, you know, reach out to Ledgeview for support issues and for CRM enhancements. Thanks so much for listening. Have yourself a great day. Bye now.